Could you still belt out Jezebel? I do it every show. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow, that's a I powerful I close piece of every work. show with Jezebel. And nothing really can follow Jezebel except maybe I believe is an encore. Yeah. Well, I believe became almost a happening, a spiritual happening oh, yeah. all over North America. Yeah, it has uh, acquired that status. Yeah. You did a lot of songs in that kind of tone, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, there was a great song sh right after, I believe, called My Friend. May the good Lord bless and keep oh, yeah. you. Answer me, O Lord, which really came out of, uh, I think it was a German song to begin with. And, um, Lord, you gave me a mountain in the beginning, which did nothing. So it just goes to show you some spark, some chemistry takes place with some and others. You do them the same way, or you think you do, <laughs> but they don't happen. I must say, I recall an expression that I, that I heard in early in my career called wearing a record white, and I really didn't appreciate what it meant until w when you joined Columbia, and that would have been after... 51, yeah. Yeah, after your successes with Mercury. Um, Columbia laminated their records. They had, they had the, the wax on both sides of some cardboard lamination or paper lamination in between, and when the wax, when the <laughs> record would wear down to the lamination... I know. <laughs> that was wearing them white. And, and I don't know what the first... One, I guess it would have been Mule Train that was worn white. We used to yeah. have to send out for new copies of the yeah, record. Well, first, it was uh, Lucky Old Son and then Mule Train. Yeah. I think that was the first time uh, in the business, from what they tell me, at least in the pop field, where one performer had two separate records that were one and two and then reversed yeah. when the second one got to be number one. And then later on, it happened again to me with Jezebel, but even better because it was the same record. It was Jezebel and Rose, Rose, I Love You. So but it never that. reversed. Yeah, I'd forgotten Rose, Rose. Rose, Rose never reversed, and you got to be number one. It got to be Jezebel one and Rose, Rose two, and that's where it stayed. Well, Hey, Good Luckin' had to be up there with George uh, Patrick, wasn't it? Yeah, it did very well. Now, that was um, uh, a record that was kind of special at that time because I really wasn't... Uh, supposed to be a country singer. In fact, Nashville has yet to bless me. <laughs> but uh, uh, I've fallen in love with a lot of great country songs. And Marty Robbins, who was an acknowledged country entertainer, writer, composer, singer, uh, wrote the song for me. And that's about as country as you can get, sure. you know, that song. Well, the, besides that, I mean, there was your, uh, your association with Rawhide, yeah. which went on forever. And High Noon. Well, we did so many uh, Western tunes and country songs, and yet a peculiar thing, when Lord You Gave Me Mountain came out, the country stations at home yeah. will play. There were three other people who recorded it, Carl Vaughn, Johnny Bush, and Marty himself. They'll play any one of the three on that country station. They will not play my record. 